hey guys, look what I got. That's right, I got the FMS Ranger. This is an 850 millimeter RC trainer plane. It comes ready to fly, so everything you need to get started comes inside the box. And in this video, we're gonna unbox it, take a look at all the parts and pieces, and then at the end, I'm gonna wrap things up with my pros and cons. Coming up next, we're gonna see what's going on inside the box. This is what everything looks like inside the package. And coming up next, we're going to see what it looks like outside of the packaging. All right, guys, here's a look at everything that comes inside the box. And of course, I'm going to the owner's manual first because everything is broken down really well inside this owner's manual, even for beginners. So that is cool. Right here, we've got the hardware that plugs in or holds on the main wing, as well as the landing gear right there. Tricycle landing gear on this plane, which is great for beginners. Right here is our flight pack. This is our charging setup, power cord, as well as the charger inside. You can charge two or three S packs with that charger. That is awesome. Right here, we've got an advanced radio. It's got GPS, a return to home function. And right on top of the main wing, we've got the GPS unit. That is cool. And right here, we've got that nice looking Cessna style RC plane. And again, there's the trike landing gear. We'll get into that a little bit more detail a little bit later on. But right now, we are going to assemble it. I just wrapped up completing the assembly for this plane. And it's very straightforward. You start with the main landing gear. And what you do is you seat that in. Look here where I've got that set up and seat that in as deep as you can. Next, you want to add the landing gear plate. And then you want to gently screw in the screws. Now, what I do generally with something like this is a star pattern like you do when you're putting a wheel on a car. So that way, you don't over tighten, things are balanced. It's what I do for everything. That way you don't over tighten and then damage your brand new plane. Next up is the main wing installation. And the first thing that you wanna do is plug in the GPS plug. So plug that in to the integrated board. It's a three in one integrated plug. And then after that, you want to plug in uh, the aileron leads. And then after that, you snap in the wing struts. Pretty basic, pretty straightforward. Put the plastic tip in the front and then slide it back. Pretty darn straightforward. And I like that a lot. For the final step, what you do is you seat the main wing in the slots. And then you take the longest screw, it's 20 millimeter screw, and then just screw it down gently. You don't want to over tighten it and you're set. The installation, the assembly, the build is complete. Now we're going to take a quick tour of this radio. Now, the only thing that does not come included in the kit are double A batteries, which most people should have four laying around. So that's not a big thing, but it is the first con that I see so far and it's not a very big one. So that's good. You got some grip here. Um, I've got medium man size hands and not too small and actually probably perfect for a beginner. I would say uh, the gimbals move around just fine. Got a lanyard holder, not bad, not bad. Now to turn this on, it was a little tricky. I didn't really understand what the instructions were telling me to say, but I found that you've got to hold both of these buttons down and that'll turn on the radio. You push it forward. That is basically stabilization mode. This is, uh, there's a slight flight assist where it smooths out the aircraft, but it does not fly it for you. The farther position should be flying it for you, at least in theory. And then on this side is your either GPS return to home or it's like a panic mode sort of a thing. It depends on 
how you have that set up. And there you go, guys. We're going to wrap things up now with our pros and cons. As far as the pros go, this is ready to fly right out of the box with very little assembly. It's got nice and rigid EPO foam. That's great for durability. It's also got tricycle landing gear. Generally speaking, that is very good for durability as well as ground handling. And frankly, ground handling is very important for beginner RC planes. So that is a big, big pro in my opinion. It's also got a powerful 2S brushless motor. It's got GPS and return to home functionality in addition to a geofence. Very cool technology built into this. It's also got a nav light in the front. On the ground, it lets you know that the GPS has been engaged or not. But either way, that is a, a bonus because in the air, when you come into land and you've got a nice nav light right in the front of the plane, that's very helpful, especially if it's close to sunset, things like that, when winds are gonna be a little calmer, when you're really gonna to wanna to fly something like this. As far as the cons go, it does not come with AA batteries. That's the only thing it doesn't come with, which is a very minor con. And the GPS protocol is a little more confusing than it could be for a beginner. But again, if you're gonna get in this hobby, you're gonna to have to learn stuff. So neither one of the cons are that significant. With all that being said, like, comment, and subscribe. And GB Linden, out.